I remind for your test. So here we are, week six, blood. And um, there's actually a lot of really interesting things about blood. And um, I really like it. I think there's things that, that you're going to connect with. Um, a lot of the information that we talk about with blood is going to be very relevant for um, human health, human body, nursing. So these are things that you're going to learn about if you're pursuing nursing. Um, we're going to talk about the different kinds of cells in blood and some diseases related to blood. Um, even what makes bruises have their colors. So um, hopefully this will be a good week for you. I have, uh, we are going to do blood typing and I know some people find blood typing to be a real challenge. We're going to be doing blood typing in lab only, not in lecture. So um, the, I'm just going to start that over. Hi everybody, welcome to Human Biology. We're at week six and we're going to be talking about blood. And I think there's a lot of interesting things that come into this chapter, a lot of things you'll be able to relate to. Also, a lot of the information you talk about, you'll be able to relate to as a patient because we all get our blood tested. And if you're considering going into nursing, it's going to be an area that um, you're going to learn a lot more about in your future courses. So um, work on the study guide, get that information um, going. You'll notice that, you know, we cover a lot about blood, the parts and the diseases and things like that. We don't um, cover blood typing in lecture, but we will be covering it in lab. And I know blood typing is one of those topics that some people just find really challenging. So if you're having a hard time with blood typing or anything in this unit, please let me know and I'd be glad to try to help you. Um, the other thing that will be I wanted to point out is we have an exam next week. So week seven, we have exam number two. And um, I'd like to do a, a discussion the week before an exam. And um, what I'm trying this week for the discussion is outlined here. And what I'd like you to do is create a thread where you talk about an experience you had with something related to one of the topics on this exam. Those topics are tissue, skeletal and bones, muscles and blood. Um, I kind of pride myself that I can pick almost any topic and relate it to microbiology in some way because I, I like studying microbiology. But I'll bet you you can find a lot of things um, related in your life that somehow you can connect them to tissues, skeletal and bones, muscles, and, and or blood. And so pick a topic. Um, it could be something that you heard about or something that you know, you know, somebody has a certain condition or maybe you had, you know, broke a bone or something like that and tell us about it. But in this discussion, you need to give us some scientific information. Try to relate it to the information that um, we've talked about or at least something that we've talked about in preparation for exam number seven. So I don't want just purely um, something that's that's common knowledge. I want something that you build on. So maybe you might have to look something up on the internet and give us a little bit of extra information. Um, I just gave the idea of um, what if you, you know, do you know somebody who maybe had plantar fasciitis, which is this pain in the bottom of your feet? And um, you might have known somebody that had that. So tell us about their experience, or maybe you had it. And then look something up about it. What is it? How did people get it? Um, tell us a little bit more about it. And then you're going to want to comment on people's stories. Your comments to people's stories, two responses to classmates, also need to include some information. So um, you can tell somebody, oh, I heard of that too. And here's another little factlet that I, I um, learned about when I read about it. Um, or I know somebody that had this and this is what happened to them. So give us something um, more than just common knowledge information. And I'm not going to give full credit without that kind of scientific information. Also notice here, I'm giving a two putt uh, plus two bonus for posting your story by Thursday so other people have time to respond by Sunday. So um, let me know if there's anything you, you need help with and start thinking about your exam in week seven. Good luck this week. Take care.